Would I be the arsehole for not allowing my dying cousin to walk down the aisle? My cousin was diagnosed with leukemia and is not doing well. I feel terrible for her, but I was never close to her growing up. We grew up in different countries. I'm getting married in March 2024. My aunt came over two weeks ago to discuss something. She wants me to let my cousin walk down the aisle with her dad before I walk. I don't feel comfortable with this because, yes, it's sad that she won't get to experience this, but isn't it my day to shine? My aunt says that I'm being selfish for not doing this. She spoke to my parents about this, and they don't seem too happy. My in-laws are not pleased too. But they still want me to decide. My fiancé doesn't feel comfortable too. My aunt brought my cousin to my place to discuss it last week. Cousin cried, saying she wanted to walk down the island that I should let her. I told her it was my wedding day, so it was not right for her to take over. She then called me selfish and a bridezilla for not caring about her. Like I said, we were never close, so I don't know why she's trying to do this on my wedding day. I told her I needed more time to think, so she's on posting cryptic stuff, obviously attacking me. I talked to my friends for non-biased opinions, and they were divided. Some want me to allow her to walk down the aisle because she would never get to experience that, and I'll be doing something nice. Would I be the asshole if I say no? Not the asshole. Why can't they do this on any day other than your wedding day? Rent out a church or venue and have them do this. Invite the rest of the family Yvonne. Why do they have to hijack your wedding? Not the asshole. If your cousin wants to walk down the aisle, let her aunt book a church herself. No need to hijack your ceremony. Not the asshole. Let her family plan their own celebration of her life where she can be the center of attention. Not I feel like your family could hold a party for her so she can walk down an aisle but it's inappropriate to make your so be standing there. If I was him I would be so uncomfortable. Not the asshole. This is so bizarre. This is you and your hubby's day, not hers. I feel bad she may not make it to her own wedding, but your wedding is not her chance to do what she wants. This was no one's place to even ask, let alone demand. Not the asshole tell the aunt to book an event where she can walk down an aisle with her father. You don't swoop in on another person's wedding. Also your parents should have said no too, they're older and obviously have more of a relationship with the aunt. No one involved in the wedding you, your fiancé, your parents is comfortable with this, the answer is no. If your aunt wants her kid to have that walk down the aisle moment, she can throw a party for her. I would not invite her on your aunt to the wedding. I wouldn't put it past your cousin to show up in a white gown and try and pull some crazy stunt. You may want to plan to have a few friends act as security in case they try to show up. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Aunt can throw her daughter her own pseudo wedding day party type thing if she wants instead of stealing yours. I have a feeling if you allowed her to do that, she'd show up in a wedding dress. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Cousin and aunt would be uninvited if it were me. Not the asshole. That day is you and your fiancé wedding day. If aunt wants her kid to walk down the aisle, she should create separate event for the kid, instead of leeching yours. Let her family talk to a local pastor, about letting her walk down the aisle on a day when you're not getting married. You don't get to guilt someone into doing something nice. They are the assholes. You are not the asshole. Don't let them walk over you. She can pretend to walk down the aisle after the ceremony if she wants. Trying to steal the spotlight is shit. Very odd, wouldn't it be much worse for her to walk down the aisle with no one waiting for her? Won't there be lots of sad tears as opposed to happy ones? Not the asshole. Not the asshole that will make the entire wedding sad and focused on your cousin. If she wants to walk down the aisle so badly, she should ask her church if maybe she could do something like this on a day when they don't have any events scheduled. Unfortunate as your cousin's situation is, 
You are a couple getting married. Not the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Not the asshole. It's a weird request, honestly. I've never heard of anyone doing something like that. It's really sad that she's dying and will not get married, but, she still won't? I don't know. Maybe her parents should throw her a party or something. JFC not the asshole. That demand is just ridiculous. They can take her to Vegas if she wants to walk down an aisle. Natar. Imagine how confused your guests would be when the wrong bride walks down the aisle. Natar but uninvite them from the wedding. This will only ruin her your day. Not the asshole. And rescind the invite to the wedding, they will only do it without your permission if they still come. I hope your wedding is beautiful with people who care about you and your fiancé as it is your day. Not the asshole. It's certainly terrible that your cousin has leukemia and may won't get to experience her own wedding, but I can't imagine thinking it's okay to just overshadow someone else's wedding. It really wasn't an appropriate request at all. Like I said, we were never close, so I don't know why she's trying to do this on my wedding day. That's exactly why she's trying to do it. Cause you're not close so she doesn't really care about you or your wedding. Not the asshole. Not the asshole this is your wedding. It's also super weird and cringe. What is she walking towards? Not the asshole. Let her arrange a walking down the aisle party for herself. I would be concerned about her and her mother trying something at your wedding. Yay, who doesn't want soon to be funeral vibes on their wedding day maybe she can shag your husband on your shared wedding night too. Oh and perhaps she wants to borrow your husband to experience a wedding night as well? Not the asshole. Let them organize a fake wedding for her if it's that important. Claiming someone else's wedding after they said no multiple times, that's selfish. Not the asshole they should throw her her own wedding, so she can have the party be all about her. This is a really awful thing to put on you. No you would not be the asshole if you say no. They can have an event of some sort that involves your cousin walking down the aisle on a day that's all for her. It doesn't need to be your wedding day. The answer is no, sorry she's sick but it's no. Not the asshole and uninvite them right now or they will certainly cause a scene at your wedding. The fact that she's dying doesn't make her entitled to hijack your wedding. Disinvite them. Employ security. Time and place. Your cousin certainly deserves to enjoy a special event where people who love her can gather and show their support of her. Your wedding is not it. Not the asshole. Natar. If she wants this why doesn't her parents organize a wedding like gathering where the family gathers and the day is all about her and getting to see everyone before she leaves? What other family traditions or upcoming experiences will be hijacked? This is super weird. Symbolically it makes no sense at all. I don't get it. Not the asshole. Not the asshole sorry it just makes no sense for her to do this to you and to walk before you, just ridiculous. I hate emotional blackmail. Don't do it at all.